Hello YouTube. In Dragas' last Besiege video, he said he wanted to see more cog-based designs, so I came up with one. In fact, this machine is 33% cogs. I'm 40% dolomite! I call it the Pepper Mill, and you can try it in my Steam Workshop, linked below. The basic idea was to make the smallest machine possible that can fully maneuver and see how many zones I could beat with it. The end result was a three-block powerhouse which, with some creativity and patience, can beat 22 of the 30 zones in Besiege version .27. During this playthrough, I changed the starting position of the machine for some zones, and I adjust the settings of a block in only one zone. I complete all the zones at 100% speed, but some zones can be made easier by slowing the speed to 50%. I'm especially happy with the Pepper Mill because it's more user friendly than some of my other minimalist machines, and it can quickly plow through enemies and targets. The Cog is strangely immune to arrows and other enemy weapons, which is helpful. The machine is also really fast because the flying spiral is pushing so little weight. This all makes it fun to use, even when you're not going for a minimum block record. When I first built this machine, I wasn't sure what I wanted to call it. My working title throughout the project was Gear Fan, because it's a full list of all the parts I added, yet it's still a short name. But I wanted my machine to have character and personality beyond its Spartan block count. So I named it Pepper Mill instead, because the spinning gear on the bottom and the overall shape reminded me of a pepper mill. By the way, I noticed a fun fact about the size of the pepper mill. Using a ballast in the center of mass indicator in build mode, the masses of various blocks can be measured. The starting block weighs 0.25, while the cog and flying spiral each weigh 0.5, giving a total weight of 1.25. A cannon weighs 1.5, so this entire machine weighs less than one cannon. So that's the pepper mill. Whether you're a fan or it grinds your gears, let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, I really appreciate upvotes for the machine on the Steam Workshop. Also, if you have a machine on which you want feedback, leave a link in a comment and I'll check it out.
That concludes the Pepper Mill's 22 zone run. I hope you enjoyed it. And please visit the Pepper Mill in the Steam Workshop, linked below.